This is Dr. M. Sangeeta, Professor, Department of Electronics and Communication Eng Engineering, Bharat Institute of Higher Education and Research. I'm going to present the topic on adders and subtractors. Half adder, adding two single bit binary values, XY produces a sum bit and a carry output bit. This operation is called half addition and the circuit to realize is called half adder. It can be realized using a simple truth table. The input is two input and the output is two output. X and Y is input, sum and carry is output. Since it is two input, the number of combinations that will take is four combinations. That is two power N determines the number of combinations. Here N is equal to two. So two power two, four combinations. Zero, zero, sum will be zero and carry will be zero. X zero, one, sum will be one and carry will be zero. X is one and Y is zero, sum will be one and carry will be zero. One, X is one and Y is one, one plus one, sum will be zero and carry will be one. Let us calculate the main terms for sum and carry. For sum, it is one and two. And for carry, it is three. For one and two, it is x dash y plus x y dash. It is a XOR function. So x XOR with y. For carry, it is three. That is x into y. So the logic circuit that will be realized is XOR function and AND function. X, XOR with Y is sum, X AND with Y is carry. Full adder. Adding two single bit binary values, X, Y with carry input, C in produces a sum output and carry output C out. It can be realized using a simple truth table. X, Y, C, N is input and sum and carry output. C out is carry output. Three input variable, that is two power three, eight combinations will be there. So zero plus zero plus zero, sum will be zero and carry will be zero. Zero plus zero plus one, sum will be one and carry will be zero. Zero plus one plus zero, sum will be one and carry will be zero. Zero plus one plus one, sum will be zero and carry will be one. One plus zero plus zero, sum will be one and carry will be zero. One plus zero plus one, sum will be zero and carry will be one. One plus one plus zero, sum will be zero and carry will be one. One plus one plus one, sum is one and carry is one. Let us calculate the main terms for sum as well as for carry. For sum, it is one, two, four, seven. And for, it, and for carry, it is three, five, six, seven. So sum is plotted in three variable Karnaf map. One, two, four, and seven. So the min term, the sum of product will be x dash y dash c in plus x y dash c in dash plus x y dash c in dash plus x y c in. So if we resolve this expression, it is an XOR function. So X, XOR with Y, XOR with C. Carry output. Carry is plotted in three variable card of map. That is three, five, six, seven. If we group six and seven, it will be XY. It will be XY. And similarly, we can group three, seven, and five seven. 
we will be left out with the expression x y plus x c n plus y c n. Full ladders can be realized using and or function. So we have obtained the expression x dash y dash c n plus x y c n dash plus x y dash c n dash plus x y c n. All the product terms are odd together. That will be realized as sum. This will give you some output. X y, x c n, y c n. All this output, all this product term is odd together. This will become c o. Same full ladder can be realized using x r function. We have seen both the expression. In the previous slide, that is x y c n or x r together for some. Instead of and or and or logic, we can use x r logic also. It will not give you a different output; it will give you a same output. X y x c n and y c n for c out. N bit carry ripple adders. An n bit adder used to add two n bit binary numbers can be built by connecting series n full ladders. Each full ladder represents a bit position j from zero to n minus one. Each carry output c out from a full ladder at bit position j is connected to the carry in c n of the full ladder at higher position j plus one. The output of a full ladder at position j is given by s j is equal to x j x odd with y j x odd with c j. C j plus one is equal to x j into y j plus x j into c j plus y into c j. In the expression of the sum, c j must be generated. By the full adder at the lower position j minus one. The propagation delay in each full adder to produce the carry is equal to two gate delay. Since the generation of sum requires propagation of the carry from the lowest position to highest position, the total propagation delay of the adder is approximately equal to two n n delta. That is two gate delay. Four bit carry ripple adder adds two four bit numbers x is x three x two x one x not y is y three y two y one y not added together we will get the output s three s two s one s not and most significant bit will be c four. This is mentioned in this in this figure. X is given, Y is given, C is C in the same input. You will get some output and carry most is significant bit. For one full ladder, it is two entered n delta. Here we will be using four full ladders, so four into two, eight gate delay will be used. Will be it 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 takes eight gate eight gate delay. So four full ladders x not y not and c not is added. Output is s not c one. C one is fed as an input to next full ladder. X one y one c one. The output will be s one and c two. C two is fed as an input to next full ladder. X two y two c two. And output is S two and C three. X three Y three C three is fed as an input to next full ladder. We will get S three and C four. So the final output we will get it is S three S two S one S not and C four. Totally, it takes for one full ladder it takes two delta delay. We are using four full ladders, so eight gate delay is used. Larger adders, sixteen bit adder using four four bit adders. It adds 
two 16 bit inputs that is x from x naught to x 15 y bit y bits y naught to y 15 producing a 16 bit sum yes that is s naught to s 15 and a carry output bit c 16 from most significant bit portion so we are using four four bit full adder four bit adder for a single four bit adder it takes eight delta delay so for four full adder four four bit adders it takes 32 gate delay 32 gate delay carry to overcome this problem we are going for carry look ahead adder the disadvantage of the ripple carry adder is that propagation delay of the adder is two delta delay increases as the size of the adder n is increased to the carry ripple through all full adders carry look ahead adders use a different method to create the needed bits for each full adder with a lower constant delay equal to three gate delays the carry output c out from the full adder at position i that is ci plus one is given by c out equal to ci plus one equal to xi yi plus xj yj into c cj by defining gi equal to xi into y a as carry generate function for portion i that is it takes one gate one gate one gate delay pi equal to xi plus y a as the carry propagate function for portion i one gate delay if pi equal to one c a will be propagated to c a plus one by using the carry generate function g i and carry propagate function p i then c i plus one can be written as g i plus p i into c i to eliminate carry ripple the term c i is recursively expanded multiplying out we obtain two level and or expression for each c i plus one carry look ahead adders for a four bit carry look ahead adder the expanded expression for all carry bits are given by c1 equal to g0 plus p0 into c0 c2 equal to g1 plus p1 into c1 instead of c1 g0 plus p0 c0 is replaced C2 equal to G2 plus P2 into C2. Instead of C2, this entire term is replaced instead of C2. Instead of C3, this entire term is replaced instead of C3. Where GI equal to XI into YA, PI equal to XI plus YA. The additional circuits needed to realize the expression are usually referred to as carry look ahead logic. Using carry ahead logic, all carry bits are available after three gate delays of the size of the adder. So a carry look ahead adder will be designed like this. Binary arithmetic operation, that is some uh, subtraction. That is 229 minus 46, it will be 186. Binary subtraction can be done. Half subtractor. Subtracting a single bit binary value y from x, that is x minus y. The difference bit will be d, d and borrow bit will, will be b. Two input variables, to, totally four combinations and two output bit. Zero minus zero, difference and borrow will be 0. 0 minus 1, difference will be 1 and borrow will be 1. 1 minus 0, difference will be 1 and borrow will be 0. 1 minus 1, both will be 0. Now calculating the min terms, 
difference will be 1 and 2. For borrow, it is 1. So it is difference is x bar y plus x y bar. So x x r with y. And borrow, it is x dash y. It is realized with logic circuit. Full subtractor. Subtracting two single bit binary values. Y being from the single bit value X produces a difference bit D and borrow bit B8, B out. This is called full subtraction. Three, three variables or three input variables are used and two output variables. Three input variables, so totally eight combinations will be used. So it is subtracted like this. 0, minus 0, minus 1. So 1 is borrow. Borrow will become 1 and difference will become 1. Taking the last combination, 1 minus 1 minus 1. So 1 minus 1, it will become 0. 0 minus 1, borrow will be 1 and difference will be 1. We have calculated for all the eight combinations and mean terms will be taken one, two, four, seven. And B O one, two, three, seven. K map is plotted. Borrow and difference is calculated. It will be similar to that of the full ladder. Some will be similar to that of the full ladder and it differs only with borrow. Full subtractor using and or function. This is the same and or function similar to that of full ladder that will be used. That is x y dash b in x y b in dash x y dash b in dash x y b in all are or or together, which will form the difference bit. For borrow. It is x dash y, x dash b in, y b in. All are or to get together, it will form and or function. Same full subtractor circuit, we can design it using x or function for difference and borrow it, it doesn't differ for borrow. It will produce the same output. N bit subtractors. An N bit subtractor used to subtract an N bit number Y from another. X minus Y can be built in two ways. By using N full bit subtractors and connecting them in series, creating a borrow ripple subtractor. Each borrow out, B out from full subtractor at position J is connected to the borrow be in a full subtracted at tire position J plus one. By using an N bit adder and N inverters. That is finding two's complement of Y. First thing is we will invert Y and we will add one to Y. So the original subtraction X minus Y now becomes addition of X to two's complement of Y. So two ways we can design the subtractor. Four bit borrow ripple subtractor. So X minus Y is done. X is four bit, Y is four bit. X minus Y minus B naught. We will get D naught and B1 and B1 is fed as an input to full subtractor. X1, Y1, B1. We will get output D1 and B2, X2 minus Y2 minus B2 is done. We will get output D2 and B3. X3 minus Y3 minus B3, we will get D3 and B4. Four bit subtractor using adder. If we are going to use adder, we will take invert, we will invert Y and add one to Y. This will is similar to two bit 
two's complement addition. Binary multiplication. 11 into 13, we have to get 143. That is 10 into 11 is multiplied with 1101. It is multiplied and then shifted, is multiplied and then shifted, multiplied and then shifted and then added together. So for multiplication, we will be using AND function. And for addition, we will be using half adder. Half adder and full adders. For three bit addition, we will use full adders. For two bit addition, we will be using half adder. This is four cross four array multiplier. Thank you.